Scientists have completed an autopsy or rather a necropsy, which is an autopsy for animals, on a 9,300-year-old bison. The incredible discovery of the remarkably intact animal was made back in July 2011, but now scientists have taken a look inside. And they have revealed the mummy has a complete brain, heart, blood vessels and digestive system. The most complete frozen mummy of a steppe bison, an extinct bison found on steppes throughout Europe, Central Asia, Beringia, and North America, was found in the Yana Indica Kaloland in the Sac Republic, Siberia. A necropsy was performed to learn about how this animal lived and died at the end of the Ice Age. It showed the animal had a relatively normal anatomy with no obvious cause of death. However, the lack of fat around the abdomen of the animal suggests it may have died from starvation. This is a very rare find, Dr. Olga Potapova from the mammoth site of Hot Springs in South Dakota told. It is one out of three relatively complete step bison mummies that exist in the world, and it is the most complete out of those three. The body is in excellent condition. Normally, we find the mummies that are significantly damaged by predators in the past, or by modern arctic foxes and others, as soon as mummies are thawed out from the permafrost. Such processes happen very quickly, and a mummy that thaws out during summer may be gone in a few months forever. Dr. Putapova adds that the bison belongs to an extinct species that was found in the early Holocene epoch, 9,000 to 12,000 years ago. She says there are very few records from species at the start of this epoch, known as the Pleistocene Holocene boundary. This mummy gives us an opportunity to look beyond what for most of the paleontologists impossible to dream of, the opportunity to study genetics and morphology of preserved organs of this animal, she said. From the necropsy the scientists discovered that the brain appears to be complete, although it has shrunk to 36% of its original volume. However it had retained the bulbs, nerves and even medulla oblongata that once allowed the animal to think. Organs in the throat such as the trachea appeared to be close to their normal sizes, as did the heart, blood vessels, stomach and penis. Some parts of the animal were significantly shrunk though, including the lungs, liver and left testicle. And, as mentioned, the lack of fat in the abdomen and neck suggested it died of starvation. The Ukigir bison mummy became the third find out of four now known complete mummies of this species discovered in the world, and one out of two adult specimens that are being kept preserved with internal organs and stored in frozen conditions, said Dr. Potapova in a separate statement. The next steps to be done include further examination of the bison's gross anatomy, and other detailed studies on its histology, parasites, and bones and teeth. We expect that the results of these studies will reveal not only the cause of death of this particular specimen, but also might shed light on the species' behavior and causes of its extinction. Dr. Evgeny Maskenka from the Paleontological Institute in Moscow, added, the exclusively good preservation of the Ukigir bison mummy allows direct anatomical comparisons with modern species of bison and cattle as well as with extinct species of bison that were gone at the Pleistocene-Holocene boundary. The creature was found perfectly preserved in July 2011 in the Sac Republic, also known as Yakusha, where woolly mammoth remains have previously been found. Its body became visible after part of the shore collapsed into the water. The discovery has an enormous value for scientists since it is the best preserved bison ever found said Dr. Albert Protopopov, chief of the Mammoth Fauna Research Department of the Yakutian Academy of Sciences, back in March.